Hi there, Matt Wilson here from Grow Appalachia. Today we're going to be talking about flame weeding. So flame weeding is a technique that we use in typically long season crops like carrots or beets uh, that are hard to weed and take a long time to germinate and grow. Uh, the, where you would use flame weeding is uh, you would prep your bed and uh, wait about a week, then seed your crop. In this case, we've put carrot seeds down and uh, then wait another depending on the crop, a week to 10 days in the case of carrots this time of year. What you're looking for is for your crop just to be um, just breaking the surface, just underneath the surface when you flame weed it. And that's gonna kill all of the weeds on top of the bed and give your crop the best chance because if you're not stirring up the soil again, the weed seeds don't have a chance to get exposed to light and to germinate. So it's a great way to, to create a nice clean bed uh, for your crops to emerge into. Let's talk about some of the equipment for flame weeding. This here is a single burner unit uh, with a shroud on it. This one is from a Never Sink Farm. Connor Crickmore and Elliot Coleman uh, had a hand in designing this. It's also available from Johnny's Seeds. And what this does is it turns a single burner a uh, flame weeder into something that can do about a half a bed. It's got this roller on the back that makes it really nice. You can see it's quite light. And uh, the tank here uh, fits on a backpack so you can carry it around the farm. Uh, there are different, different kinds of flame weeders. There are some that have multiple burners that'll be for an entire bed. You can use just the torch itself, but it tends to use a little bit more fuel that way and may not get as complete uh, coverage. So there are various components to a flame weeder. We've got the propane tank. It's got a, kind of an open and closed valve here. And then on the torch itself, there's usually at least one regulator valve that controls the flame when you're not squeezing the handle, kind of the pilot light. And then when you really want to crank it up, you pull this handle and that lets more gas go to the flame and increases the intensity there. Like I said, this is a shroud uh, that just clamps on to a normal flame weeder that creates just a nice heated area under the shroud. It can also prevent you from burning your crop if you're using it next to a crop. And it's got this nice roller in the back that not only provides kind of a wheel to go on, but can sort of even things out as you go. And then we've got this backpack frame that's, you know, nice, is bolted right to it. You can use a, like a normal backpacking backpack too, if you've got one of those. Just something to keep it on you while you're walking along. One of the great things about flame weeding is you can use it in various parts of the farm, and uh, it's really a versatile tool. So this is an igniter, uh, similar to what you would use if you were uh, using welding equipment, it's just a safer way to ignite the flame weeders than, uh, than a lighter or something like that. So when you're flame weeding, you don't need to uh, burn every weed to a crisp. Uh, you just need to get it so that you heat the weeds up enough for their cell structure to break down. And the way that we test for that is you can actually pinch a leaf uh, that you've already flame weeded. And if you can leave a thumbprint, then you know that those cell walls have broken down and that plant, plant is gonna wilt and die. Um, there's no real harm in going overboard a little bit. You're just gonna use a little bit more fuel. So flame weeding is a great technique to use before direct seeding or transplanting. You can even use it to keep your paths clean. Uh, it's just one tool in the toolbox that we use for keeping weeds uh, controlled on our market gardens. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful to you, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we make new videos, hit that little bell so that it'll let you know. Check out the other videos in this weed control series, especially the intro video called To Weed or Not To Weed. That'll give you the big picture of how this fits into a broader weed control strategy for your farm. 
And let us know in the comments what you think. Are you a weed pyro? Do you love burning those little weeds? Are you scared of it? Does it fit into your context? We'd love to keep this conversation going in the comments.